I welcome the opportunity to contribute to the debate tonight on this private member's motion. And I would like to commend Deputy Sullivan for her motion. <coughs> I think it's very worthwhile and important motion that we should be debating here in the House. I believe we need to, we need to have a new budgetary process in this state. And there is a lot of talk, make, has been a lot of talk about making evidence-based decisions, but there does not appear to be much action on it. Every year we are treated to a budget of leaks, where most of the proposals are leaked to the media and floated out there in advance of the budget. We never seem to see those leaks on the basis of choices that can be made. Every decision that the government makes around budget time have consequences, but we don't see the discussions in advance of what the choices are that the government face, is facing. For evidence-based decision-making, the reality of those choices can be seen in advance, and the rationale for the decision can be looked at and considered. It is the prerogative of the government to make decisions that it wants to, <clears throat> but you have to be able to stand over them and accept the choices that are made. If human rights budgeting was part of the process, would we have seen the cutbacks to disability payments for young people in the 2012 budget? Would you have walked yourself into the mess of the medical card probity budget in 2014? So basing decisions <clears throat> basing decision making on evidence could have saved this government from some embarrassing climb downs that could have saved you some credibility with citizens. If a government wants to make the, the decisions based on their ideology, that is their want and so be it. That is why we have politics and democracy. But if a government makes decisions that harm sectors of society, they should have to stand over them and stand over that, their ideology on those grounds. I believe we need a process that is more open and discusses options openly. Whether that is called equality budget, budgeting or human rights budgeting, it doesn't really matter. We need a process that can show the possible in impacts in advance. Then the government and the doll can make decisions with all the facts. And I, should, I believe we should always attempt to make the least bad decisions. The papers today are reporting on the long longitudinal study growing up in Ireland that has some interesting findings in, rela in relation to children growing up in a recession. One of the authors of the report has said that the findings of lingering stress were surprising. She went on to say that it did not fade away in the space of two to four years. It is worse to be stuck in poverty than to get out of it, but we are finding an effect later, and that would be a concern. She went on to say that financial stress can manifest itself in children being less confident and more fearful, some having problems concentrating and others feeling low. That's just one impact one example of the impact of decisions that governments make. Now, obviously, the recession has happened and, and the government, this government hasn't been responsible for that. But this government is responsible for the decisions that were made through it, throughout it and increasing the stress on society. What would a study that, that looked at the impact of the recession on the disabled, the elderly and the carers have to say about the stress and strain of existing in the current climate? I'm sure that the same results would have been shown. I have listened to government parties use the teen excuse, there is no alternative, in, in, the, in the debate earlier on tonight. The reality is that there was and is alternatives, and it depends whether you want to look at them or not. You did not have to take in a budget, that, budget this year that gave more back in tax for better off workers, where some, someone earning over €70,000 a year gained more cash in hand than a worker in a minimum wage. That was a choice. The implementation of human rights bud budgeting would test the changes against basic principles. We on this side of the House would make our decisions based on human rights, not on be benefit in the constituency that this government wants to represent. Even if we accepted the TINA excuse for the budgets, is up, budgets up to this year, you no longer have it to hide behind. Now is the time to use this recovery, recovery to assist those that have carried the can for the regressive budgets over the last six years. And now is the time to refocus budgeting on human rights and equality, making sure that the inequalities in our society are addressed. You failed to use the recession to, benefit, to protect people. Maybe you'll use the recovery to benefit them. <laughs>